accommodate residential development without having to um, expand our urban containment boundary into uh, ALR land. Um, therefore, staff are not supportive of the application. Um, further to that, the um, soils map as indicated uh, there. And just as a final map, it just shows the, um, the app. This is the subject property under application. Um, the previous application, uh, first in here, and the ones farther to the south, um, located in red. The ones that put their application on hold are in the LR exclusion app, on soils information. I expect to come forward to council at some point in, in the near future. Um, green application is essentially on hold, and here this is the application that we can consider today. I have to answer any questions. Council. Well, um, are we going to be having a meeting to discuss any of this with the ALR? Uh, staff have been trying to arrange that meeting, mm -hmm. and originally it was in the fall. Uh, the most recent meeting was um, the Land Commission could have met on October 19th. But that was the uh, previously scheduled council retreat, so we were unable to meet that day. Um, so we've contacted them again, and uh, the latest information is probably in the year. It's going to be available. And further to that, um, I am of the opinion that we should, should um, as a council, I guess, figure out what area we think is. is um, the one we want to withdraw because personally I don't think I would be in favor of withdrawing everything even down to 20th. I think that's way too much, but we do need more lots. I know that from the market. I've said this before, but when I look at this, I think it's the perfect area for to be developed. And uh, I mean, we can, if council wishes and we move this forward to the agricultural land preserve kind of seems a little bit of a conflict that less and staff says no we've had letters from the ALR before that say you know the staff recommendation so I just this whole uh, issue just seems a little bit like a, a waste of time like what do we say we say one thing staff says another thing and when I looked at that infill report, I mean, I think we were all felt that there's not a lot of uh, uh, residential lots out there. And this seems the perfect area. Schools, um, it seems like a, a no-brainer that that would be a great place for residential lots. I think it's important to note too, that this is a recommendation from staff, not a uh, not direction. But the, I know that, but when we had a recommendation from staff before and council had voted on it to, we agree to send it forward, so against the recommendation of staff. But yet when it goes to the ALR, that recommendation of staff, if they're against it, is attached to it. Am I correct? Yes. So that's what the ALR sees. And then they write back and say, we agree with staff's recommendation. Not. Uh, let it out of the ALR or whatever. So, I don't know, I just... Did Council pass a motion directly staff recommend a Council recommendation? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, my thoughts are, we say one thing and that's attached to what goes to the ALR. It seems a bit contradicting. So I wanted everyone else's thoughts on that. Councilor Flynn. We just shouldn't have disagreed with staff. That's their thoughts. <laughs> um, this, it's kind of interesting how timely this is because based on these stats, Hillcrest has 100 too few students for its capacity. So um, if we truly want to work with the school district, I agree with Councillor Cannon's comments that this to, this on Hillcrest is a, is a no-brainer. But anyway, um, again, I don't know how many times we have to say this, but it really seems like a chicken or egg thing. Every time something like this goes to the ALC, they say your OCP says that this is not to be part of your urban outside your urban containment boundary, all that stuff. But when we did our OCP review, the last couple, there's been a conscious decision not to expand into ALR lands in most areas. And so I, I really think that um, this, this begs the question, should we be reviewing the OCP sooner rather than later? And for once, tackling the tough areas like this area and 
asking the ALC to take them out of the, out of the ALR if that's what we truly feel is best. Um, and, and I do think this area, maybe not all the way to 20, like Councillor uh, Kentel said, but um, a portion of this area out of the ALR. So I do have a question. Can we flip to the, um, the soils one? Because this one here. Um, what red is the uh, is prime? Is that correct? The difference between the yellow and the types of soil, if you will. Okay. So, so yellow is a little worse. Right. And red's a little better. So um, we've got a trailer park complex on some of the best agricultural land, and yet on the yellow, we're not supporting taking anything out. I, I just really think we have to rethink our philosophy in areas like this. And when we do the next OCP review, make sure that we don't default to we're not taking anything out of the ALR. Make sure we make decisions that um, are, in my opinion, maybe a little more forward thinking and take into account soil capabilities and things like that. Um, based on just soil capabilities, it wouldn't make sense to go probably past the boundary of that property. Soil capabilities, why is there a residential complex on some of the best soil? Um, it just shows the flaws in the, the system in my opinion. And, and as I said, I feel like the boundaries of the agricultural land reserve have been left untouched in previous OCP reviews just to avoid dealing with it. And yet every decision the ALR makes, or the ALC makes is, well, it's in your OCP that way, and we won't address the OCP. So I think there's a flaw. It's the chicken or egg issue, and uh, I think we need to deal with this sooner rather than later because the pressures are coming from the market. Um, Your Worship, can I speak to the uh, mobile home park? For a second, I expect that mobile home park uh, here existed prior to the ALR. We have a number of, um, I'll say, semi-rural mobile home parks that exist in the city on around Canoe, and out at Highway 97B that are historic. Uh, certainly, that wouldn't be a consideration uh, on current planning or in the recent past to have that in that location. And, and I guess my last comment, that comment, Corey, but uh, we've seen the conflict between agriculture and residential in that area, and most of that red is not being actively farmed in any way um, or any productive way and I guess that's something to me that has to go into the discussions as well is this doesn't make sense to have agricultural land that really in the foreseeable future is never going to be farmed and, and I know that's not our job that's the ALC's job but I, I really think as a community we need to relook at this area based on the pressures we're getting and I agree with Councillor Cannon that uh, I understand that's reason for defeating it, but it comes back to the chicken or egg. If we don't start um, asking and, and strongly supporting, um, I think we're going to continue to get the same answer, and I think we need to deal with this sooner rather than later in an OCB review. Councillor Lyson. stated, I think the area makes sense. I think it makes sense that it's right around Hillcrest. I also make, I think it makes sense that a lot of the infrastructure needs are there. And I think that we, like, like Councillor Cantle said, we need the lots. And I would love to see all of, all three of these properties, this one, the one to the west, and the one further to the west, all be developed into single family or multi-family residential so we can populate our schools. I'd also like to point out Appendix 2, which shows why that trailer park ends probably where what where it does, and that looks like power lines. And I don't know if anybody wants to live under power lines, so I think that's a pretty good reason why that one stops where it does. Um, but I don't I think recommending this with uh, council support to the recommendation, contrary to our OCP and our urban containment boundary and everything like that, is an energy. And I think that in order for us to do this and to do to do this property proper. proper do this property properly uh, is to go ahead and, and to review our OCP and to change uh, everything that we need to do. That way, that way we sit here and we, we don't have to essentially waste staff's time in dealing with these applications. If we say no, if it's not there and it's not reasonable, maybe we can deal with it at a retreat or something where we've talked about it and designate the areas we want to see developed, then we can, we can push this and we can say OCP, ALC, this is what we want to see happen. 